The Alamo Music 914C exclusive just got a new take. We're going to tell you all about it, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support us, check out our Spring Store link below for custom swag. And check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, which is also linked below. So <clears throat> we've had what we playfully termed the Chris McKee exclusive 914 CE. It was based upon my 23-year-old 914 C with an Engelman top and the Cindy inlay. I loved that guitar. I loved the ones that we got in. Um, we sold quite a few of those, so I really appreciate like the response that we got. Um, we wanted to do a little bit of a different take on that because the Cindy inlay is so popular kind of in Taylor's history. Yeah. Uh, it's named after Bob Taylor's wife, Cindy. It was designed by Greg Deering from Deering Banjos. It's a really cool kind of classic inlay. What could we do that would be just a really cool variation on this? So what do we do? Oh, we sunk it up. <laughs> we sunk it up. We took uh, one of our favorite things that Taylor offers and put it on probably our favorite Taylor exclusive that we've done. So. Yeah, I joked with Cooper, this is like a Chris McKee signature hybrid because my other favorite Taylor is like this custom that has a Sinker Redwood top. Yeah. And so I love Sinker Redwood. I, I really like cedar, but this really not, kicks it up a notch well, when you use this tone. What wood. we got to do is switch up the inlay just a little bit, different flowers, something candy inlay, dude. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. They'll never go for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, it's a classic 914 CE uh, with these new appointments. You want to take us through kind of what the specs are? Yeah, so single redwood top, East Indian rosewood back and sides, and it's just really pretty set on this one very nice for sure set. um one of my favorite things with the the 914 regular is that it's fancy mm -hmm. but it's not over the top you know just it's right. really nice and yeah. i think a lot of times people kind of wonder do i go for an 814 do i go for a 914 and something about the aesthetic of this with no pit guard mm -hmm. especially with the cindy inlay which is my favorite now because of you and your guitar and what we've done um i i really like the look of this plus you got a beautiful sinker top. Why well, put a pit guard on it? Right. You can get yourself a clear pit guard if you want, and we'll we'll send one to you. But um, yeah, it's beautiful. I love the inlay on the bridge as well. Everything else is you know what you'd expect. Ebony, yeah. ebony. Um, the purfling on here with the abalone framed in koa. You know, it's, it's uh, one of the things yeah. when we did the first one that I, I, you know you don't really want to change a lot because the yeah. current 914 CE really is just a beautiful guitar. Mm -hmm. The way they've taken that koa and used it to just very elegantly frame in the rosewood against yeah. that ebony uh, binding, it, it's yeah. just a really stunning look really that sharp. screams high end, um, but uh, but elegant, you Without know, being kind, kind of understated. Yeah. And then you've got just the right amount of bling, you know, that uh, that thin band of purfling, which is you know both your abalone and your koa and your ebony all sandwiched in. Yeah. Really brings it together, and I love the look of it with that the sinker redwood. So on my custom, when I was doing it, I was trying to think of what to do for the rosette, and I went with abalone for the same reason. You have this dark, chocolatey sinker redwood, um, and the abalone just really pops against it. Um, that coupled with what I think is just, I think the reason people like us love this inlay is it's just classic. Yeah, like it's a really but classic it, looking. It's inlay. also functional too. It like is. it's not just a vine. Right. Uh, you got your three, five, seven, nine, and twelve, and then up in the uh, fancy pants register, you got a fancy pants. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to something. keep track up there anyway. Yeah, you know? you're just blowing and going at that point. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything else the same. You got the Goto five tens. Um, it's just it's a beautiful guitar, and I also think um, not all sinker is made equal. You know or sunk equal, but <laughs> there's sometimes we see it on other limiteds that sure. they do. Um, and you can kind of tell uh, definitely variations between what they did on like a 414 yeah. limited versus something like this. It is all the chocolate, all the minerals and the, you know, it even looking at this angle, there's just so much going on with this and a lot of variation and it's, it's really beautiful. And it 
switches up the sound. Yeah, it sparkles nicely from a, yeah. from an angle because of all of the mineral deposits. Pretty yeah. cool. Well, it's going to have a very different sound. It, there's going to be a lot of complexity in this guitar because of that this pairing, um, which I just think is is a magical one. So we're going to take a listen to it, and uh, you can uh, you know decide for yourself if you think it is magical too. So check it out. All right, so there you have it, the latest iteration. It's the Chris Mackey uh, signature model. Um, crisp. <laughs> crisp. <laughs> uh, just, you know, a it's a great pairing of tonalids, first of all. Yeah. Take everything else away. Rosewood and Cinco Redwood is fantastic. A lot of overtones, a lot of richness, uh, just kind of a, a darkness, but not too dark. You've got that wonderful bell-like chime that comes out of it, and it really pairs well with the overtones that Rosewood gives you. And then all of the rest of the stuff, this is like an heirloom guitar. Yeah. It's something you can buy and pass down and be excited to play every single time you pick it up. It is also something that I was surprised did not exist already. You know, um, And I think, I mean, obviously there's been stuff that's close. We I mentioned mm -hmm. it before, we had a 414 that was Rosewood and Sinker, but having this pairing with the Cindy, this feels to me after being around a lot of Taylor fans for a really long time, like something that, it could have been like a group guitar that like a lot of people yeah. were like, maybe wrote this down as like a dream guitar. You know? They've kind of um, done this 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 pairing before, but yeah, the, there's been a, I think a reluctance to bring back the Cindy as like a, you know, a limited edition yeah. or, or part of something. Um, but you know, I'm glad it's part of the custom shop and, and we can continue to do special guitars like this because yeah people voting with their wallets continue to say we really love the look of that so. yeah and there's just something i think aesthetically we've talked about i love the look of dark rosewood and bright adirondack you know as mm -hmm. a combo this is like two and especially the sets on this one we've got 10 but um that sinker and that rosewood it complements so well in this kind of dark caramel chocolate thing. It's like and it's the like, good die of a guitar. It's like when people say you eat with your eyes first. <laughs> sure. You pick a guitar with your eyes you first. You do, absolutely. And this, when I opened it up, I was so glad to see that it was dark and really varied sinker and uh, how the abalone and the koa and the purfling plays with it. And it's, it brings out all the right tones in every part. Um, yeah, absolutely. I love it, I love it. Well, cool. Well, if you want more information about this guitar, we do have a limited number of these uh, that are going to be available. They should go to our website, which is? It's alamomusic.com if you haven't been there already. Yeah. yeah, you should go check it out, check out other guitars. Um, you can chat with someone live on there, and they can uh, get you photos of any of the ones that we have in stock at that time, so you can take your pick uh, of the ones that are available and get the guitar you know, picked out just for you. Um, so, yeah, that's the story behind this. I think it's a great variation. Um, glad we can keep these coming. And I'm so excited that you, know, you guys have been receptive to them. Um, you know... Peeling back the curtain, that first guitar was really our first kind of exclusive with Taylor, 
And um, it was a bit of a, a question mark. Is anybody going to care? Yeah. Um, and a lot of you did. So that was pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, hopefully that you, you like this one. I, I, in some ways, like this even more. Uh, I, I'm a huge sinker fan. So uh, very, very cool guitar. So check it out on our website at alamomusic.com. You know, and uh, I always say at the end of the day, the best guitar in the world is the one you're playing. This time it's this guitar, <laughs> best guitar in the world. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, keep coming back for more, and we'll see you next time.